TEPCO talked to us about climate change. And at the end of October, they told us about scams and the utility moratorium. Well, this week, we're speaking about the gift of energy. So joining us now is Felicia Greer. Hi, Felicia. Good afternoon. How are you? Welcome to Win TV. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. And Felicia, can you tell us a little bit about what your responsibility is at Pepco? Sure, I'm Pepco's customer advocate and vice president of our large commercial customer team. Awesome. Okay. And well, as we are approaching the holiday season and, you know, especially just amid COVID-19, um, there are so many families that are struggling a bit um, and could really use some help just in sustaining their living and household needs. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the circumstances of some of Pepco's customer base that inspired the Gift of Energy program? Sure, I'd be happy to. The Gift of Energy program initially began as a way for customers to give a gift to others such as low income or limited income family members or friends. The gift of energy ultimately becomes a credit on the customer's Pepco energy bill. However, in light of the pandemic, the gift of energy is now a great gift for those who may be facing financial hardships, frontline workers, and it certainly is still a very practical gift for family, friends, or neighbors. To participate, all a person needs to do is give us the name and address of the recipient. The process is quick and very easy. You should contact us at 202-833-7500 and one of our customer care representatives will help you complete the transaction. Or you can certainly visit us at pepco.com backslash gift. Once you've been in touch with us, we'll provide you with payment confirmation, a certificate of payment, and a customized card that you can give to the recipient, or we'll certainly be happy to send it to that individual on your behalf. The gift of energy will then automatically appear as a credit on the recipient's next electric bill. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Um, I'm sure a lot of um, people are very excited about the program, especially recipients of. Um, how receptive have the customers been to the program as far as those who are in position to actually participate and give or donate to the program? Sure, you know, in the past, uh, customers have been very receptive to the program by visiting our walk-in centers. However, in order to protect our customers and employees during the pandemic, we have temporarily closed our customer payment locations. So this year, we're asking customers to contact us at 202-833-7500 to purchase the gift of energy, or they can visit us online at pepco.com backslash gift, and a customer care representative will call you to complete the purchase. All you need is the name and address of the recipient. Sounds good. Sounds good. And we'll be sure to post that information um, in our chat as well. And how long has Pepco been operating this program? So, so the program began during the 2008-2009 holiday season. Uh, that was a time where the nation's economy was certainly in a, a deep recession. Um, <clears throat> and we saw, you know, pretty significant unemployment figures. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. And, you know, now that we're in the national pandemic, are you finding people in somewhat of a lesser position to actually contribute or give back? Um, in those circumstances, are people kind of coming together in greater volumes this year? So, so the program is available year round and um, we most heavily promote the program in November and December. So it's a little early to say how receptive customers will be, but I certainly think that we will see people continuing to participate um, and to help their neighbors and their families and their friends um, and, and to really make this a meaningful program this year. Understood, understood. And I know every year you will have your annual Zoo Light Show. Um, so, you know, COVID has been a, a roadblock to so many different events, um, as I'm sure it will be to the National Zoo Lights event this year. Um, so how will Pepco present the show this year now that local residents won't have the chance to enjoy it in person? Sure, Pepco has proudly served as a sponsor of Zoo Lights at the Smithsonian National Zoo for more than a decade. However, in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, Pepco and the zoo have reimagined the Zoo Lights experience this year. Zoo Lights Express, powered by Pepco, will bring the colorful glow of the holidays 
to the district in a socially distant and safe way starting Friday, November 27th. We are certainly committed to ensuring that all residents of the District of Columbia can enjoy Zulites Express, powered by Pepco, including underserved communities and those who may not ordinarily be able to access Zulites. The 24 foot Zulite Express truck will be festively decorated with lights and will feature the zoo's mascot, Panda Claws. The Zoo Lights Express powered by Pepco will hit the road from 6 to 8 p.m. on November 27th. The truck will visit each ward on Fridays and Saturdays, ending with Ward 8 on December 19th. And so specific Zoo Lights Express routes will be posted on the zoo's website. And we will certainly share uh, those routes on Pepco's social media channels so that you can watch the truck in your neighborhood. Understood. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Felicia. And thank you, Pepco, for being a sponsor of Win TV. So we look forward to watching the virtual Zoolite show and enjoy your Thanksgiving. You as well. Thank you. Thank you.